All right, guys and girls, welcome back to another episode into my series of 2021 and my vlogs and talks. So it's 9.03, Sunday, the 17th of January, 2021, at the time of the video. Now, we're going to have some serious talk this time. Now, I always watch this, like, uh, this podcaster bloke is on YouTube a lot of the times. Now, I like what he's got to say on certain things, certain topics and stuff. And that's why I tune in to watch him. And that's why he's got, like, 200, I think, 200, over 200,000 subscribers. Now, I watch that, uh, The Voice of Reason, Alex Belfield. And some things I agree with, some things I don't. But obviously, that's uh, down to preference at the end of the day. Now, I don't know what's going on at the moment because obviously they've been trying... Um, I, I presume the far left or whoever's behind the agenda to try and take his channel down. I mean, that, that's uh, because of freedom of speech. They're trying to kill the freedom of speech off. And we already know that. Um, but the amount of like videos I watch on that, of his live streams on a Sunday, on a Wednesday and stuff, Sometimes they're very controversial. Um, he was uh, doing a video the other day. He posted two videos. One before um, the podcast. I think this was last... I can't remember if this was last Wednesday or Saturday. When he had this um, girl on, on his live stream. I think she was like 23, is it something? And she was, like, saying about him making these, like, sort of uh, comments about mental health and all that. And, obviously, um, in a way, he said, well, he's more of an entertainer. He's entertaining. He's just putting, he's acting in a way. And he said to her, how do you know I'm not acting? Well, so, has he, if he is acting in that way, uh, to make mockery and make fun, of people with mental health issues or go into that certain category where he's saying to people um, that 3 million people will be on antidepressants and stuff like this or will be depressed. Um, there's that like sort of controversial thing and I think to be honest with mental health it should be talked about more often. And he was saying he wants more people talking about mental health in that way. And I actually agree with him on that one. But when you're sort of like sort of pandering to the far left and you're giving in to the far left as much as you can for them to actually ban you off YouTube or any of these platforms, um, then you've not really got the voice of a reason because you've just been completely banned or you've been taken off and there's that and there's no political voice to speak out for everybody else about the mental health. Now, we, we, we get it. We know there's some sort of dark forces at work here to try and take people's channels down uh, for just having an opinion. And... That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, because to be honest, like, YouTube really is, it's just a platform, and they can take your channel down for any sort of reason, and um, you could be playing, like, I don't know, FIFA, like, I like playing FIFA, that just gets me out of, like, uh, into another world when I'm playing football and, uh, on the Xbox, and whew, it's fantastic, but I think with mental health, this is a whole different subject, this is, like, sort of, um, a different sort of talk. Now, as much as I say myself about other people who've got mental health issues, I don't actually notice that individual person with mental health issues unless I'm in the house with them 24 7, seven days a week. Now, I live with two people in the house with mental health issues. And... On a daily basis, uh, it changes up and down. Their level of sort of interest, their level of like hiatus, um, sort of getting angrier or getting less depressed or more depressed. And it, obviously, it's down to the lockdown. We know um, 
but he was saying something about there's going to be three million people on antidepressants. Or actually, no, I think it was three million or six million. Is it about six million? I think somewhere around about six million. Now, he was doing it saying he don't think he said he reckons these six million are not all depressed uh, in a way because a lot of them wants these antidepressants or uh, tablets or whatever you want to go medication or so or they're just doing it sort of to say they're depressed and all that but I think in a way yes yeah, some people are de uh, faking it so they can get money and stuff because I've noticed like um, if you with some people who are depressed, um, you can actually know they're genuine and they need help as well. And because of the lockdown itself, it's not really doing any good, is it really? Huh? It's not really helping, the lockdown. Hmm? Sorry. So obviously, I do think in the long term, at the moment from now, if the, the lockdown keeps going and it keeps getting locked down, I'll tell you what, the, the depression levels, the anxiety levels are going to be astronomical over the few years. Now, I think we're going to be at a highest level for people being depressed, maybe even suicidal or taking their own lives, which we don't want. This is the reason why there should be more help with people with mental health issues. And obviously, we've got uh, older people now uh, who are suffering from depression now because um, they're not getting the help they want. They're not getting people coming to the house to see them and stuff. So, obviously, the loneliness is going to kick in and then the anxiety of them being anxiety to have no one coming to see them and then being depressed. Um, it can happen to anybody. This can happen to anyone. You don't even have to be an old person to be depressed. You could be a 22-year-old boy or girl who's been bullied at school. So, or maybe like a, a 7, 8-year-old being depressed. And I was watching the news the other day. And there was this uh, little kid. Was it a kid, a uh, boy or girl the other day? Said he wanted to get back to school with his friends. Kid, little girl. Yeah, so a little girl. So um, it gets to that point where even children are becoming depressed now. Because because they're being sort of like dragged, like through from left to right. We don't know if the children are going back to school, or if they're actually getting taken off school, and it's kind of sort of putting that anxiety on the children. Little children are getting anxiety issues now through this year, and obviously we do need to talk more about this sort of topics in future videos. I mean, also, we've got people who can't get back to work and stuff. They're going to be depressed. Um, it's only, um, I wouldn't say recently, but we've just had um, uh, someone local in our area who's just, uh, I wouldn't say recently, probably a few years ago, but took their own life in the local area around where we live. And we've known him for years and... Uh, it, it basically, he's got kids. He's got kids. Eleven. And Eleven basically, we nine. we are, that basically went to work one that morning and basically um, hand himself and all that. I can believe it. And we couldn't believe it. And uh, he used to um, we well we used to know him uh, quite a lot. And, very very well. And he's yeah, and he seemed so happy as well. Yeah. And uh, lovely man. Lovely man. Yeah. And he used to do my dad's car. He used to fix my dad's car and all that from time to time. When my dad broke down, he used to get the lit and borrow his battery in the car and all that. Get it going. And get it going. And it's it can it can happen to anybody. You could have the best life you ever have, but if you are not actually well in the head or your mind's not as healthy, we've got the gyms closed now, um. So we can't do exercise. We can't physically do exercise which mentally stimulates the brain into helping us work and all that and i think with this uh alex belfield right yes as much as he's pandering to the far left to try and sort of get them to sort of like pander to them in a way 
to get them to sort of like do something to him, maybe take his channel down. Yeah, I think, to be honest, I think we should still be allowed to discuss things, regardless if um, he's mockering in it or something, or if he's, like, uh, taking the piss. Um, but I think, obviously, this is why the freedom of speech came into it in the first place. And I think, as we go along, all right, his it's his opinion at the end of the day, just mockering shit. Right. And he should have his rights like everybody else should have their rights. It's like my rights... Is I don't like people taking the piss out of mental health and all that. And I think he was saying to that girl the other day, well, oh, well, if uh, what happens if you take my channel down? Oh, I could get depressed myself. Could, could. Well, it could happen to anybody. And obviously, um, him being on YouTube not very long and then getting the sort of 200,000 people watching him all over 200,000, I mean... Uh, I mean, he must be sort of ticking some boxes on the. He's a box ticker of like some he sort. Like said, if you if you like it. Yeah, if you like it. it. Not, okay. If you don't like you don't, it. Yeah, you could just turn off. Yeah, don't but obviously, um, we we're treading that kind of that fine line between what we can and we cannot say and stuff. And I think, um, as much as I don't like some of his views. Or some of his opinions. But you, but you have your opinion. Yeah, and I have my opinions so about it. I actually, I actually allow him. Well, it's his own freedom. It's his own YouTube channel. It's his own stuff. I'm actually respecting the freedom of speech. Right. Yeah, well, I'm respecting his views. I may not like him. I might not uh, dislike him. I might like him. Um, various different things. But I'm still respecting his opinion, regardless. I mean, it's like, all you have to do is look at his opinion, all his videos. If you don't like it, don't watch it. If you do like it, then subscribe to the channel and stuff. But, I mean, when it comes down to mental health, though, I think it should be talked about more often. <laughs> and if we could get people talking about more often about uh, depression, about anxiety, about stress, about all these massive collection of mental health issues, whether it's to do with um, the body, whether it's about gender um, in a way, in any form, shape or form, or whether it's uh, to do with the colour, creed or anything, Colour, shape, sizes, anything. It should be all discussed about. But that it's got sort of tried in the fine lines again, isn't it? And if we can find some sort of common ground where the far left, the far right and the middle can all some work together to actually do talks about this without actually getting offended by anything, um, I mean, that would be a big push in freedom of speech because we need, we need to keep this freedom of speech. We need YouTube to keep this freedom of speech. We need Twitter to keep the, this freedom of speech. We know that Twitter is one of the biggest um, companies out that don't like freedom of speech. We know they're That's gunning the from them. We know they're working for the far left. But, um, but, but obviously it's down <clears throat> to their side and stuff on that. But we are experiencing mm. actually know what mental people well, are like. Well, yeah, well, we know what mental health people are like in the house because we live with, with two and stuff. Yeah. One being an alcoholic and drinks all day and stuff and doesn't give a damn about people. Well, that's his opinion at the end of the day. And if he wants to get drunk as well, that's up to him and all that. And then the other one's mental. And then we've got the other one who's a mental case. and. To do with it. Yeah. But his own mother don't nothing to do with him. Yeah. I and mean, what what sort of a mother would dump her own son and have nothing to do with him? Who's mentally not all there? I mean, that's yeah. that's sad. It's sad and all that. But obviously, she probably had her reasons why she didn't want him in yeah. the first place. Yeah, because. But anyway, um, so that'd be discussed on another episode. But obviously, everyone is. Gonna, I mean, it's, we're going to be on a sort of a, a high 
when it comes to mental health issues. I think the longer the, the lockdowns go on, the more people are going to be depressed. I don't think it's going to be 6 million people who's going to be depressed. I think it's, it's going to be high, but it's not going to be as high as 6 million. I mean, I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, um, but, so. but I will <clears throat> retract my statements on here. But like an actual should, real person, why should, proper one. Why should a mother who's mm. got kids by the men, mm. right, turn around and say, oh, this one, he's mental. I don't want him because he's mental. Well, what's your mother's that? Mm. Tell me that much. Yeah. But anyway, let us know in the comments uh, what you think, what's going on with Alex Belfield at the moment. I know there's some sort of court things going on where I suppose they're trying to take him to court him for some reason. I don't know, but um, hopefully he wins his case because if he does, this is a big, this will be a big day for uh, tech companies to actually start uh, bucking up their ideas um, and like sort of like you said, yeah. he should be. And he, he should be, yeah, he should have his own opinion. Mm -hmm. Everyone should have their own opinion, regardless on whether it's religion, whether it's uh, gender, whether, you like uh, it whether it's uh, colour or creed. We need topics. We need these topics to be diverse. I thought the whole thing was diversity, which is supposed to be good because it spreads out across everywhere and everyone's opinions matter. But in some cases, everyone's opinions don't matter especially when it comes to the far left i think we should all be working with the far left and the far right and everyone to make it, the whole platforms a lot better and more understanding but let us know if you've got mental health issues yourself um and if you have um how do you cope on a daily basis yourselves I want to uh, know how you're coping yourself, guys and girls, and uh, how it affects you in that way as well. Because and the kids. and like um, maybe you got kids who are depressed as well right now because of the schools uh, leaving um, and going home, um, especially with parents who have not got any PCs or computers or no internet. Uh, how is your kids coping whilst at home? with no uh, work that they can't do, or maybe they have teachers they can't go to and all that. Or maybe um, your kids uh, are starving with these packages at the moment that they're not getting. Maybe these uh, food uh, parcels that they're supposed to be receiving, and maybe they're not getting enough to feed them, tie them over for the whole five days. Let us know in the comments below. Um, I mean, is your kids depressed? Or do you have any kids that are actually depressed in they that way? Or because they want to go to school and meet their friends, like my mum just said. Um, let's all know in the comments below, guys and girls. I love you all. Stay safe. And there's nothing else you can do about it.